welcome to today. I feel so good today, so energetic and so ready to take on today. I wanna to show you guys. I am cut finally that little bit of grass at the top of this field. I've been wanting him to do it for a long time, but he never has time, so he did it today and he did it for a reason. I have the best video of the coolest thing that we are gonna try with Penny Pickle. You guys know that we're trying to like teach our horses fun things that we can put together a little show and show our preschool, uh, our local preschool. And I'm excited about it. Sophie's excited about it. Today I woke up with so many ideas of fun things that I wanna do. But first we have to run to the other barn, which is a bit of an ordeal, it's far, and take care of Chino's abscess and then come back and get to business. So I was going to catch Chance in the field by myself and um, he looked at me and turned his head away so I don't, can't catch him. And I said, Chance, we're just doing your feet today. And then he let me put the home. Aww. That's and so then, cute. And when we were walking here, he kept looking back at the trailer and being like, that's terrifying. Yeah. Because there was a bowl in the trailer and it made a thing. Yesterday, yeah. All right, we are here. Chino be looking still so sore. Anyway, we're here. We're loving on our ponies. <laughs> Gabby is gonna treat a Chino, see if we can can figure out what is going on. So this is all the stuff I brought. And this is one of the things that I brought. Somebody suggested that we uh, weigh Chance and then monitor his weight like that. Horses can gain up to a pound a day. That's what the saddle fit guy told us, but not all horses do gain a pound a day. Like some have extenuating circumstances. Like not all, Horses are easy keepers and eat a lot when they're given, even when they're given free food. Lazy boy again. <laughs> Sophie likes to give him water. Every time she brings him in. Every time I bring him in, I give him water, let him die at thirst. Well, I'm sure that if he's. He can definitely just go get water himself, but. Yeah, he he's could. So lazy. Uh, he probably does go get water, but since you're hand feeding it to him and just bringing it to him, I'm sure he appreciates that and enjoys that. Anyway, I found my, my tape measure and I'm gonna, we're gonna do it. Just see how much this boy weighs and then we're gonna do it in a few more weeks and see how much he weighs again. Also, whenever it gets muddy, like this summer it's been really dry so we haven't had a, an issue, but whenever it gets muddy and our horses have mud on their feet when we bring them in, I always put this stuff on chance. It's like a diaper cream just to prevent mud fever and somebody posted about that in our comments today and said Chance's feet are stocked up and they're not. <laughs> His back feet definitely look bigger because they're white and it depends on what angle you stand at, but his legs are normal. Are completely normal, but we always do use that when it's muddy and we have never really showed it. So I wanted to show you guys that that's what we use. We use this cream to prevent mud fever. Is it broken? Mm-hmm, the bottom of it broke. I can really tell that Chance has gained weight. Like, he's like, yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> I can really tell that he's gained weight because he's filled in in a lot of spots. Like he used to have, is there a bug? Yes. Wait, I'll get it. When I'm riding him, he's very babyish about the bugs. Because he used to be like really empty in here. This is where I really notice him filling in. I notice he's got a bit of a belly. I notice that he's got a little bit of um, weight to his neck. Like he's got more up here, a lot more on his neck. So I know he's gained weight really well. He's been gaining, he's gaining. But if you like take a picture or you put the camera, well actually <laughs> at different angles or he's walking different, like see right there, you can see more rib, see? It's all about angles. It almost depends on where you stand and how he's moving because it changes from minute to minute. But he's actually put on a lot of weight. Like that neck is massively different than it was before. I should try and put, let me see if I can get a it picture. It looks skinnier when you're on top of him. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get a picture of his neck when we're all done here and then show you guys how like how different he did look. He still needs weight, but it's gonna take time and our vet doesn't want us to rush it. So uh, this is the carnage from Mr. Chancy Pants. It's the carnage. So we left his um, fly mask off because he got these two, like the skin got rubbed raw. Yeah, and he hasn't got any more since the fly mask has been off. Yeah, so we took the fly mask off because I think it was bothering him. Um, Only because he sticks his head into the, into the hay net and pushes the mask against his face. Okay, so goes along his girth. 
You got it on the right way, Sophie? Right behind his. So right here? He's got a long. Right, let's see. There? Yeah. So, what is it? 1065. So this big giant horse weighs 1,065 pounds. 1,000 pounds and 65. Well, it's not super accurate, especially like we got him standing square. I don't believe he's five because I brushed his legs off with the broom. Yeah, the horse is not very spooky for sure. 1,065, I'm gonna write it down on my phone and we're gonna remember that it's exactly where we did it. 1,065 pounds. So we also, Wow. If I Wait. Like that, it's yeah, you need to more. step on it more and closer to his body. So your foot has to go, yep, nope, back a bit, nope, closer to his body. And according to the tape, he's probably so close to 17. Move it over here. Yeah, he's not. If you go like that, he's, if he's If you go like that, he's 17.1. Is that how they, they measure them on the track? Everybody says he's bigger than 16.3. Okay, put it on. What are you doing? You're pushing it. Yeah, it only says he's like 16. He's about 16.3, just about 16.3 according to this. But if you measure him like the way Sophie did, you get 17.1. But he's registered, so it should say on his papers how tall he is. So I wonder if that's how they do it. What's it say, Mr. Sam? Well, yeah, it's 16. No, that thing has to be level. Yeah, and this thing's too close. And it was in a hole. Is it level? Uh, I think it needs to go back more, right? Right in the middle of this one The highest point, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's level. 16.3? 16.3, that's what I think, think he is too. This is 16 over here. 16, I don't know. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, so just under 16.3. Yeah, just under 16.3, that's what that thing says. He seems a lot taller. He does seem a lot taller. He's taller than Chino. Except for Chino's putting his head down, so that might come According to average weights, Chance is 100 pounds. Only 100 pounds under, and that's just average, so that wouldn't be like, and he'd probably be fine with that. Okay, back to trying foods with Chance. Today we have a piece of popcorn. Popcorn, Chancy Pants. Every day she's going to bring something new for you to try. Every time we come. Every time we come. Oh, he's like, my friend is leaving. I don't want anything to do with this. He's incredibly herd bound. We're going to make a change soon. <laughs> he's like, I really just want my friend. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. We did a food trying video not long ago. Like <laughs> we should do it again. You want to do it one day? Yeah. What do you think I'm doing right now? Can I see what Chance likes? Yeah, he wants to go. He's getting oh. aggravated. He's getting aggravated because his partner just left. So I'm talking to my friend online and she did a show in the States today, like a Western show. And she showed against a girl, a 13 year old girl. She said her name is Alexis or Alexa. And she had a Sophie and Fincher on. I'm like, what the heck? That's amazing. Like that just made me so happy. And so my friend said, hey, I love Day by Day. And she said, me too. And Sophie is my favorite. And I just, that just made all of our hearts so happy to like, to know that. Like it's just crazy how that just feels in your heart. But anyways, I just think that's amazing. Well, we have entered Sam's domain. We are at a uh, uh, hardware store. So uh, all life is about is finding what you love to do and then once you find that out you just do it and because you love it so much you're always successful at whatever it is that you love like it can be the most simple thing and right now i feel like we found something that sophie and i love i can put these on standards and get well to jump we only have two oh well two should be fine yeah how much are they so eighteen dollars but look, they have rips in them. What? Holes in them, is that normal? Yes, it's, they're drainage pipes, right? Oh, all right, well. All right, let's see. Okay, now we need to test. Solid, four, five, eight. 
Eighteen, nineteen dollars. Twenty bucks for these. Twenty. Yeah, so you need two. I don't know. We need. need like one, two, one, yeah. No, put them together. Put it together. Let's see. I mean, two is better than none. Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah, you, you probably want to. No, it's for a mini. Oh. Oh. Sam, between you and Sophie, reckon this joint. Fun fact about succulent. Sophie wants a succulent. Fun fact. It is really cute, but I cannot keep them alive. I am a plant expert and I can grow anything. I have like this huge green thumb. In the past, I've had so many, I've had a whole saloon room full of plants at one of our old houses that we owned and I cannot keep a succulent alive and it's because I overlove I overlove them they're really cute though Sophie's wanting some succulents you make a plan and we'll come back and get some no you make a plan you make a plan where you're gonna put them how you're gonna take care of them I think we yeah you need to reorganize your room I have an idea you could hang them in your window yeah, they're all cactuses. What are you doing with Gabby? She's gonna learn to install a backup camera. Yeah, so Sam got a new backup camera for Gabby's car and it is in the mirror. Like normal cars do, and that goes on the license plate. And that goes on the license plate, that's the little camera. And we're gonna wire it up. Yeah, Gabby's coming. She likes to do that kind of stuff with him. They do that stuff together. Like they've done breaks Gabby and stuff. Likes building things. Yeah. I like building things. So they're going to do that, and Sophie and I are going to be building something too. Something so cool. And then we have something that we're going to do, but we're going to do it with Gabby. <laughs> and so that might have to wait till tomorrow, but this is going to be fun. Hi, Gracie. What happened? Yeah, they mess everything up. Our ponies are looking so good. I am so grateful for this little dry arena, you guys. Sophie and I are going to build something for our little horse and pony show. Our little mare show. I don't know what we should call it. We're really into it, though. But before I can do it, I have to clean up the horse poo in the arena. Because that's where they like to poo. Super curious horse. <laughs> She's going to go push that off before Sophie can jump it. Willow's first time <laughs> not jumping it. Mm. Willow. Yeah. Good girl. Hi, Penny Pickle. I need to pick your feet. I can always tell when she needs her feet picked. Wow. We need this. And we need this one. So these are jump standards that have never been painted. You guys remember we tried to build like a hoop jump before using all these noodles. So basically it didn't really work because the, the pool noodles were so flimsy. So last week I was, we were researching what we wanted to do with our ponies and I found this photo and how to build this like hula hoop jump or this jump that's like a circle that they could jump through, especially like Willow. And so Sophie and I are going to attempt to build it right now. So we're going to use these tubes and then we're going to use zip ties and then we're going to paint everything. We're going to paint the tubes yellow and then we're going to paint the standards probably red. Hello. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Kind of weird if you like go to pet her fast, she turns wet like no. Hey, Penny. Penny. Hey, nice. <laughs> she wants to push it. She's going to push it. She's going to push it. <laughs> yeah. That's my good girl. Well, half over it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't let her do that. Uh oh. Get ready. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, they've heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of the shows that we could do, though. Like, how many things can push over? Yeah, like, she could be such a funny horse. All right, so we're halfway through the jump. We haven't painted it. We are going to paint this, 
and make it so beautiful. So anyways, we zip tied this and she's gonna do more to the jump standards and they're not super far apart because we didn't get like a really wide one of I these. Pony touching my butt. And Sophie has a pony touching her butt and a, and a horse yawning. Look at Molly goes underneath that thing. She's like, nobody noticed me. <laughs> so this is what it looks like so far and now we're gonna put the jump under the bottom. Obviously it's like for a dog or for a mini because there's not much clearance on either side of the standard. But building all this stuff with our horses in here is an exercise in, in de-spooking as it is. Like, our horses just stand here and watch every single thing that we do. Penny's like, I'll do it, I'll do it. But we can get Penny, Penny to throw a ball through this hoop. Do you think it's too high? I mean, it might be too high. No, 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 zip ties first because she could get her eye poked out. But imagine this as a yellow hoop and then beautiful red standards or vice versa yellow standards in a red hoop whatever paint i have but imagine gracie tried to jump it already yeah so sophie's not sure if it's like safe because if she tripped it wouldn't like give way but it's soft so i don't know i'll, I'll post the video and you guys will tell me i'm sure but i'm excited about it so it's a bit deceiving, like the bottom, the standards are actually further apart than the bottom makes it look. All right, attempt number one, you guys. She's already jumped a, back, a black, a black tube. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this little arena literally is so many things to us. Like it is shelter for our horses. It is a safe place to feed them when the weather's bad. It is a place that we like to play. It's a place that our dogs like to play. Did I make it too high? No, I don't think so. They're all watching. The suspense. Come on. Yeah, yeah! Good girl! Good girl. Wow. Sophie is in love with this pony. We put it up against the wall here so that if Penny tries to push it, it's not gonna go anywhere. But like Sophie said, that is where they sleep. So we'll see what happens. But that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?